Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this bump mapping tutorial. Now, we, where we left off last was uh, creating the specular map. So here we have the specular. Uh, and in 3ds Max, we were looking at how the specular actually uh, affects the surface of our paving, our paved floor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into um, uh, Photoshop. We're going to open up the diffuse again. We're just going to go and desaturate that. And uh, now we're going to go to File, Save As. And we're going to make sure we save it as the bump. So whatever you name the file, but make sure you add the bump at the end of that file name. I'm just going to overwrite that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Control L to go to Levels again. Now this time with the bump, we want to make sure that quite a lot of it is fairly white. Because again, with a bump, um, just to give you an example of of what's high and what's low. White equals height, and uh, I don't mean to rhyme there, but white does equal height, and black means lower down. So anything gray is gonna be in the middle. If you have a darker area on your um, bump map, it's gonna be pushed down, and any lighter area is gonna look raised up. So that's gonna that's kind of a guide as to how a bump map works. So I'm gonna really make those darks quite dark in between. So you can see how that's kind of getting darker. I don't want to go too far with it because it does start looking weird after a while. So I'm going to go to about here. Continue to make this light. And I'd go as far as maybe doing something like this. Um, now I know you can't see the detail, but 3ds Max is really good at picking up every little detail that's left behind. So we'll stick with this. Now we can come back and tweak it, of course. We, if, if it doesn't look right, we'll just do it again. And then just save that um, by pressing Control S. So that's the bump map done. We're going to go into 3ds Max. We're going to go down on our maps again in that same material. And we're going to go onto uh, the bump channel. We're going to click on none. We're going to go to bitmap and we're going to open up the bump material just there. Uh, the bump texture. Then we go to parent. Now you can see straight away it's made that pop. You can just see, right, how these are kind of raised. They look raised off the ground. So if I increase that even more, you see how that's sort of popping a little bit? Obviously, if you go too far, it's going to look really weird. Um, it just kind of breaks it a little bit. That's like 300, which is way too much. I'm going to go back down to about, I don't know, 50 or 40 seemed like a pretty decent value. Now, with that specular and the bump combined, you know, it does look really, really nice. Now, to show you what the bump's actually doing, let me strip back the diffuse map as well. Okay, let me strip back the specular as well. So this is just the bump map. You know, this is no geometry, nothing uh, additional uh, on there. Now what I'll do is I'm going to move this light around because then that will give you an example of what this uh, bump is actually doing. So if I just pull this over like that, right? If I move this light around, can you see how the light's changing the way that that surface looks? That is the beauty of a bump map. So the shadows are on, you know, it's, it's adding depth and you can see how it's changing, it makes it look like there's geometry there. Now, trying to build this in 3ds Max and making it look as smooth as that, with all the little details, um, it would take up a lot of tries, a lot of polys. So this is a great way of adding those details without actually adding any tries um, or any poly. So currently this is sitting at probably, a, this is one poly, this is just two triangles and you're getting all this detail, it's it's ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the specular, all right, so there you see the spec working pretty nicely. I'm just gonna drop the light a little bit. Um, you can see the spec working really, really nicely and bringing in the actual diffuse color map, which is the texture itself, and all those combined, you know, it, does look fairly good. I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, again, you wouldn't really see this dead close because you can see some pic pixelization. Um, in your games, I wouldn't really recommend 512 by 512 for the flooring because it's probably too low, but for this demo, it's, it's okay. Um, but you'd probably see the floor from a little bit further away uh, like, like that. So you can't really see the pixelization quite so much um, and the texture works really well. Now I want to show you just uh, a comparison if I was to go back to the bump map and change the levels again where there's a bit more kind of black going on there something like this um, you'll notice that it will obviously have more surface texture on the tiles themselves so I'm gonna save that it will auto update in here now look at that look what happens it makes it look so ugly so then you have to tone this down completely even more than that because it just looks so bad and what what you what happens there is you actually lose that detail 
in between the tiles, that kind of concrete, that grouting area in between, it's kind of gone now. Whereas before, right, if I was just um, go to lev levels again and just increase that brightness really, really high and just make the darkness in between those tiles pop um, by bringing the darkness down as well, saving that going back in here and increasing the value to maybe 50 you can see how much cleaner that is and how better that looks so you want to make sure you play around with these figures uh, with the levels until you're happy with the outcome so anyway guys that brings this uh, bump mapping tutorial to an end you can see here we've got all three materials just to run through all three again in the order that we add added them so we added the uh, diffuse map first which again is okay it looks good but it's fairly flat we added the specular level uh, next the specular map and we adjusted the uh, glossiness level as well up to about 45 again you can tweak that to your liking and then we added the bump so the bump straight away added that depth um, which makes the surface look like there's additional geometry there which is fantastic um, I probably will be doing a normal map tutorial, but I'll be incorporating that into uh, the Unreal 4 engine as an example of um, why normal maps are good and also why bump maps, um, maybe not why, but also the fact that bump maps are not really used in uh, certain game engines like Unreal 4 in the conventional way that you would with 3ds Max like this. So um, we need to use normal maps for certain game engines and it's quite important to know the process of creating uh, those normals from textures. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this series of videos and uh, you go away being able to add diffuse maps, specular maps, and of course bump maps as well to create some really awesome looking uh, textures and materials. And on that note guys, I'll catch you all next time.